What's going on everybody? Welcome to Joe's Madness. If you're new to the channel, punch that subscribe button into submission here at Joe's Madness. And if you enjoy this video, make sure to take a moment and slap that like button like a pimp and share the video with your family and friends and all over the internet if you want. And let me know down below your thoughts and opinions on this video and whether you agree with this prediction or not. And which fighter are you going for and how do you think the fight's going to finish? So we got UFC Fight Night 111, and it is happening in Singapore, and it is going to be taking place on June 17, 2017, exclusively on the Fight Pass. All the fights are happening there. It's going to be kicking off at 8 a.m. Eastern Time, 5 a.m. Pacific. Uh, you know, so if you have, if you're uh, not in America and you need to know what time it's going to be at, you can ask me. I can help you figure out that with the world clock, and uh, you know, if you don't. I have access to a world clock. So anyways, uh, this is going to be really fun in the Bantamweight division. Neither guy is uh, ranked right now. Uh, I'm hoping uh, that one of these guys can potentially crack the top 15 with a win here or end up getting a shot at somebody in the top 15 with a win here uh, is what I am hoping for as we have... The handsome Quan Ho Kwok versus Russell Doney. And this one is going to be a banger as both of these guys have finishing power. Uh, uh, Ho Kwok, he has gotten uh, multiple knockouts. And Russell has submission and knockout power and TKO finishing style. So uh, for Quan Ho Kwok, he's got nine wins and one lone loss, and he comes to us from South Korea. Russell Done is coming to us from the U.S. with 14 wins and seven losses. So Quan has 10 fights to his name as a pro, and Russell has 20 ones. Will the experience take out the guy with less experience or not? And then the same with the age. Will Russell's... Uh, age of being 30 and Quan being 27 uh, have any play in this uh, we will see if the age and uh, so forth has anything you know I mean you never know sometimes the younger guy wins sometimes the old bet wins so both these guys are close in age though but without further ado I'm going to be going with Quo, Quan Ho Kwok to win this one by KO TKO in the second round and be the very first man in MMA to defeat Russell Doney by a KO TKO finish as he has never been finished by a KO or TKO. The only way that Russell's been stopped before is by submission four times and by decision three times. So I believe that with the power that Quan has in his hands with six wins by KO TKO, three wins by a decision, and he's lost one time by decision and that was his last fight at UFC Fight Night 99 to Brett Jones. Uh, John, Brett Johns by unanimous decision. He's never been finished, and I don't believe that uh, from what I've seen, what I've seen, and what I've analyzed and whatnot, I feel that Quan Ho Kwok will be the man getting his hand raised, and it'll be in the second round by KO TKO. Uh, you know, Russell is very badass. He's a very game fighter, but he is on a four-fight losing skid right now. Both of these men want that win. I know uh, Russell really is going to want that win. I mean, you know, both guys obviously, obviously, no matter what, you want to win when you fight, but I feel there's a lot more... Uh, for Russell to lose if he loses five fights in a row in the UFC. Uh, you know, not that many guys get that uh, get that opportunity to fight six times in the UFC and lose four times in a row. Uh, you know, I would like to see him win and me eat my words, but I am a fan of Quan Ho Kwok, and I believe... Uh, that he has what it takes to be able to defeat Russell with his hands. Uh, you know, uh, it is interesting, though, Alejandra, he uh, beat him by unanimous decision, and then Gerard Sanders had beaten Doné by unanimous decision, but uh, Pedro Munez, uh, Munoz, he ended up winning by guillotine choke in the first round. And then Mirsad Birtek, he ended up winning in the first round by Rene Kachoke over Russell Doney, and that's how he's lost his four fights uh, in his last four fights. But when he came to the UFC, he won his first UFC fight at UFC Fight Night 34 back in 2013. No, 2014 uh, against Leandro Issa. 
by a triangle choke in the second round. And then he beat Marcus Brimage at UFC 175 by split decision. And ever since then, he's been on a on a, quite a losing skid. But then Kwok, he had won nine fights in a row. And then he lost his UFC debut. And I believe he's going to win this fight. And then he's going to go on to fight somebody in the top 15 and end up climbing the ranks. Uh, you know, I feel that this guy has that capability to get into the top five ranking of the UFC Bantamweight, Divi uh, Bantamweight division. So let me know your thoughts and opinions on anything and everything I said. Do you agree with me on this prediction? Do you agree with me that uh, uh, Ho Kwok has what it takes to get into the top 15 in the Bantamweight division in the UFC and make it up into the top five and possibly get a UFC championship fight? Do you think the man from South Korea has what it takes to get there or not. Let me know your thoughts and opinions down below in the comments section. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to take a moment and slap that like button like a pimp. Share the video with your family and friends and all over the internet if you want. Punch that subscribe button into submission here at Joe's Madness on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Combat Sports is awesome and you guys are amazing.